I'm with the famous Kate Fitness oh my God. Positivity, <laughs> who has recently rebranded as Kate underscore X underscore fitness. Alright. Famous God turn. <laughs> Just kidding. I have three perfumes here. Um, we have a new release. We have two new two newer releases. We have Athena Yim, which is from Joram, a Scottish perfume house. Um, you know, a house that I really respect. I really like you and McCall's work. We have Grimoire from Anatole Le Breton. This is my first um, creation of theirs that I've smelled, and I really like it. And then we also have uh, Damon by Mendy Terosa, um, spelled like D-A-Y-M-O-N. Um, and these are some exciting new releases. So which one do you want to start with? Like Matt Damon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Had to. Uh -huh. um, let's try this one. Okay, Actually, for more. Yeah, yeah, let's start with that one. I started with that one too yesterday. Okay. This one is just too intimidating. That one? Yeah. Old felt tail. I felt that. <clears throat> Realize my nose is kind of blue. Is it like incense y kind mm -hmm. of? Kind of gives me like green and incense vibe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It smells good. It has, um, it has basil with like elmi resin and frankincense. Mm. It has coriander and it has, um, Lavender. Those are nails that stuck out to me. Stuck out to me. Stuck out? I don't know. It's stuck. Uh, it's it's no. I know. It's just early. It stuck out to me. Literally ten a.m. Ten a.m. I know. We're just nine fifty-two. Yep. Nine fifty-two a.m. Does this remind you of anything? Should it? To me, it gives me um. It gives me a tower vibes. Kind of. But like more bare bones version of, um, of it kind of reminds me of incense uh, extreme mm. or extreme. Like it's it's similar, but, but I think the intense. coriander it's, to me it's is nicer. This is nicer. It's not nice. Well, I'm just trying to gauge your. Range. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more wearable. Let's put it that way. It's lighter. To me, the coriander, and like if there's any other, um, like uh, spice in there. What's the other one? Not coriander. Um, cumin. Cumin. It's cumin. It's cumin. It smells a tiny bit like really, like Indian seasoning. No, I don't get that. Oh, I get it. But I'm very sensitive to like cumin and right. these types of things. But it's really nice. Yeah, I think it's very nice. I just I think that I like, it, like, that would make it less wearable for me. Yeah, but this had that green. Yeah, that that greenness to it. You could smell that right on the opening. Mm. I like the name though, Grimoire. Yeah. It makes me think of like a big tome of like hidden secrets. <laughs> I thought you said big toe. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> it makes me think about big toe. It reminds me of Grindelwald. I don't know why. So it also has patchouli, moss, musk, and atlas cedar. That's also that dry aspect of it. Yeah. And bergamot. I knew, I knew bergamot. I for sure smelled that right at the opening. And also patchouli. I mean, I didn't think it was basil. Does it have basil? It has basil. That's wild. That's so crazy. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> Next one is... Do you want to see this? Athenaeum? Yeah. Athenaeum? Athenaeum. I don't know. Like, there's a million ways to, to pronounce Latin-esque words. Because <laughs> you can pronounce it the American English way. You can yeah. pronounce it the Latin way. I don't know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Is it... I... Go <laughs> yes. I want to know what your reaction is. I actually really like this song. I like it too, but I think I like it for a different reason. Why do you like it? Does it remind you of like it the reminds pharmacy? Me, it reminds me of a specific ointment at the really? pharmacy. Yeah. Which one? I don't know which one, but. Oh, I thought you knew the name. No, but it's one of those like very basic ointments that you keep. Ointments. I, I don't know. It's like a like the water-based ointment that we make that we keep and we use in other ointments. Like it's like the basic 
disappointment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you add like menthol mm. to it, it kind of smells like that. But that's so funny that you also thought it was a pharmacy. I mean, yeah. It smells like a pharmacy. But so like the you back. Wanna guess what's in there? I kind of, yeah, it kind of does remind me of like the back of a pharmacy. It, it just smells like when I'm making stuff. That's in probably the why I love it that much. Yeah. Like when I first smelled this, I was ready to buy it. Like immediately. Yeah, it's really it was, like, nice. This is my next Jorum. Oh, this is the Jorum. Yeah. yeah, this is really nice. I, I want this. I want to smell like this, even though <laughs> I probably will smell like this for the next like 30 plus years. What is in there? Hmm. There has to be some sort of like mint. What is that? I've never smelled anything like this in my life. <laughs> oh, bless you. Excuse me. I'm going to cut that. Okay. All right. Well. This one has um, Scottish lavender. Okay. It has beeswax. It has fennel. It has apple. I'm not sure what kind of apple, but to me it's more of like a gala, like a little bit more red. Honey, neroli, uh, hyacinth, <laughs> sweet, sweet burrell grass, patchouli, Moroccan leather, gorium, bal balsam. I don't even know what the heck that is. I have never encountered that kind of false sand accounts. And an oak and ink. I feel like the ink, Yeah. I can really smell it. I can smell it too. It really reminds me of like the blue ink pens, you know? Yeah, like it smells me like, oh, it smells me. <laughs> smells me? It reminds me of like elementary school when you'd be like thinking or like middle school <laughs> and you'd have the pen like near your nose. Yeah. Or something, and you'd be sniffing the pen low key, you know? And it smelled good. It smelled good. It's like pharmacy meets a ballpoint pen. It's really nice. I wouldn't have guessed any of those notes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. it's still early. I, I know which one you're wearing then. This one? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Really nice. I really like it too. Why can't I think of, I can't think of the name of the Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Uh, uh, for me, I get the, the lavender, the fennel, the ink, the honey, and a little bit of the apple the most. I feel like I get a little bit of the beeswax, maybe that's fine. Yeah, that's maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, a little bit of it. Alright, last but definitely not least, we have this. Mr. Damon. <laughs> we have Mr. Mr. Damon. Matt Damon? Matt Damon. M. Damon. <laughs> That's like, a really cool cat. And apparently, um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the perfumer or the owner didn't release how many uh, caps they made specifically, um, but Seven Cents, for example, uh, the Hungarian perfumer I really like, they have six different caps. So there's a whole little army of these little guys out there. That's actually really nice. Hmm. I really like it too. I'm just kind of surprised you like it. Why? I don't know. I didn't. I just didn't figure you'd like it. It's just basic, like a a good basic. I don't know what exactly. It kind of smells a bit citrusy, so it's not like you're. I don't know. It's just like kind of what I'm usually drawn to. The yeah. Types of fragrances I'm usually drawn to. And what about it? Like smokiness. It's like clean. You call that clean? I mean, it's not that it's not clean. It's just like, it's not like typical musk, like white musk clean, like gloss hair is you or, you know, some kind of laundry scent. To me, it kind of is. Really? Not laundry scent, but. So this is the one with the most complex notes. Interesting. Or like, Lamb not on. the most complex, but like, more synthetic now. That makes sense. I don't love it, love it, but like I like it. It's not like I'm repulsed by it. Or no, anything. no, no, no. That's not why I said it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think on skin, your it's skin chemistry would be, you know, strange. react differently. Hmm. Not strange. It just reacts differently with every person. So, what's in there? Uh, okay. So we have. We have angelica root. Uh -huh. I do get that quite a bit. Yeah. I don't even know what that smells like, truthfully. 
Uh, it, it's, it's kind of like a peppery, rooty scent. Mm. It's kind of, it goes well together with Oris, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, it has jasmine, Tunisian roly, has Italian iris, so Florentine iris, mm -hmm. iris pulita, which is like a very nice, soft kind of um, dulcet kind of iris. Mm. Pillowy, if you will. It's tonga bean. I really get the tonga bean mm. in this. Uh, Havana lime, which kind of reminds me of, I mean, I haven't smelled it raw in its raw form, but um, I think that one kind of has like this Cuban cigar kind of vibe to it. I like it. That's the more it's like, drying, the more yeah. I like it, actually. As New Caledonian sandalwood, uh, resins, benzoin, uh, cyan benzoin, and mm. peroxin. So to me, I get the Havana lime, especially. I get the angelica root, that pepperiness, and I got the um, a little bit of sweetness from the benzoin mm -hmm. and um, smoothness from the sandalwood and tonka bean. I get the tonka bean for sure. Maybe even a little bit of the iris, but it's not like not overpowering. Yeah. It's not a normal. I don't know how you would say it. Like a usual iris for sure. Like not my usual iris. No. The ones, I'm the ones that I don't really like, like the powdery kind of yeah. ones. This one is a lot nicer. It's, I don't know. To me, it's clean. I actually really like this mm -hmm. one. The more it's drying, the more I like it. Nice. So you're gonna wear these two. I have both of them. Yeah, one on each arm. I guess I could try them both. Try them What should I wear? Whatever you want. Let's see. I know you want to wear this too, low key. It smells low like key. medicine. I love it. I love it. I think we just both have a sentimental connection to we that do. smell, so. I mean, my family owns a pharmacy, or like my aunt, my mom is a pharmacist, my grandpa was a pharmacist. Showing the tail. Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird. It's cute. It's interesting. Interesting. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> it's just wave, wave off the crowd this way. Bye. Bye. Kind of missed, but that's okay. good. No, no, that's plenty. It's still got like half my wrist. Mm. All right. Work, but the other half works. What do you think on skin? Or has it not developed enough yet? Not yet. Still similar sense though. This one smells so good. Which one's that? The that one. Area. I just didn't know which one you sprayed it on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really love it. It hasn't really mixed with your skin yet. But... Neither has this one. Mm -hmm. Alright. All right, signing off, guys. All right, <laughs> wave. Bye. Bye.